The Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania is a large uh, integrated department. It contains both uh, anatomic pathology and lab medicine put together. We also have an interesting and unusual focus on therapeutic pathology. The clinical cell and vaccine production facility is a shared resource in the School of Medicine and the Cancer Center that develops, manufactures, and tests cell and gene therapies in early phase clinical trials at Penn and at collaborating academic medical centers. You can think of this as engineering new body parts, but in our case, what we're doing is engineering the immune system. We can take a patient's cells and take a patient's tumor, for example, and outside the body, educate those cells to what the patient's tumor comprises, grow those cells up, and then reintroduce them back into the patient. And those cells would then have been educated as to what the tumor comprises, and will then be able to attack the tumor or educate other cells in the body to attack the tumor. During this last year, we reported the results from three patients who had very advanced chemotherapy refractory leukemia. And we treated them with a new form of transfusion therapy, which is uh, engineered T cells. And that resulted in three major advances that had never been seen with a cancer gene therapy in previous trials. And the first thing was that we gave these T cells to patients and the T cells actually proliferated in the patients after being infused. The second thing was is that the patients all had um, regression of their tumors. So we had three patients, each with between three and seven pounds of tumors, and the tumors went away within a month. And that was uh, a, an amazing and quite gratifying result. And the third thing was is that we could actually show that the T cells were what was called serial killer cells. They were able to kill many, many different tumor cells. And this is what's really different than other kinds of therapies. That's cutting edge science. There aren't other departments that have that depth of investment, the faculty investment, and the infrastructure to carry out these kinds of experiments. The area of high throughput personalized diagnostics is a biomedical revolution, and our center is certainly trying to, to be at the leading edge of that revolution. The goal for the Center for Personalized Diagnostics is to be able to take a specimen, either a tumor specimen or a constitutional specimen, look for changes in the genome that can then be uh, translated into actionable items for the clinician. The sequencing approaches that we'll be taking are using a form of massively parallel sequencing. So hundreds of targets will be able to be analyzed in parallel with multiple patients barcoded so that we can identify the, their, the different patients at the same time. So we'll be able to generate large amounts of data in less than 24 hours. This will be able to give the clinicians answers in real time so that within a week after the patient's biopsy, the clinicians can have a plan. Our work in the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine is moving us even more towards being the doctor's doctor. And that's been a term that's traditionally been employed to uh, describe the practice of pathology. But now with all of this high throughput information being uh, readily available, practicing physicians are gonna have a very difficult time keeping up with all of this. And they're going to need specialists who understand these various areas to help uh, interpret the diagnostics for them. And that is really the role of, of the pathologist. I think our department has a unique environment with the ability to work in a matrix fashion with investigators across a number of departments. And we have the ability now to rapidly translate new advances from bench sciences into clinical trials, uh, pilot proof of concept trials that, that aren't possible elsewhere. And so the environment, because of this matrix, organization here is unique for a fast flow and horizontal transfer of information between uh, scientists and I think anyone in training would find that to be an exciting advance. When applicants come to our program they comment on is the fact that we 
really are centralized, that we have everything under one roof. One of the great benefits to coming here as a trainee, whether that be a resident or a fellow, is that you will be surrounded by faculty who are all actively engaged in the teaching mission and who really want you to become the best you can be.